Good morning, everybody. Happy Fitness Friday. Coach Scott here, your host for the day. Uh, today, we're going to talk to Simone Lavelle again. It's going to be part two of our series. And if you were here last week, uh, we, we spoke about her nutrition program. We spoke about nutrition. We spoke about her three top tips. I'm going to shift this around because that light's driving me nuts. Uh, we, we talked about her three top tips of, of, of fat loss. And so today, on part two of our series, is we're going to start talking about um, snack hacking. All right, so maybe, did you get the invite, Simone? All right, all right, looks like I already sent it to you. Bum, 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 bum. All right. All right, so um, with, with the snack hacking, what we're going to discuss today, um, it's for you, it's for the people that are out there that are trying to drop body fat. You know, a lot of people talk about weight loss, which is awesome because when you drop body fat, you also drop weight. Um, but today, we'll, let's go back to Simone, right? Simone is a fitness professional. She's been here for, she's been in the industry for like 20 years. And so she's just got a vast amount of knowledge. And she has put together this program, which is called Fuel for Fat Loss. And that alone has been just changing people's lives. And the reason why I'm bringing her on again is by, to be honest with you, popular demand. There's a lot of dialogue that went on. There's a lot of questioning that went along. And I figured, hey, Simone, we need to do this again because there's a, there's a need for knowledge out there in the nutrition world. There's a lot of, uh, I would say, lies that have been believed about nutrition. There's a lot of, uh, not, not, not a lot of consistency when it comes to nutrition. And so what we do here is we want to put something out that's very sound and the people that are bring on are just top knowledge uh, in their industry and so forth. So, all right, Simone, it looks like I already invited you. So I am going to wait for you to pop on and kind of go from there. So just to recap what we did uh, last week, what we talked about last week is we talked about her fuel for fat loss program. And specifically, it was... Yeah, it was Simone. It was over on your personal page. I can only. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it only allows me to invite you on your personal page. So, just to recap, we were speaking about her program, and it's four weeks long. And, you know, not only is it getting you calorically in line and, and macronutrient in line, simply means to uh, have a certain amount of protein and carbohydrates and fat. Um, and then also to t tell you when to eat it. Like we call that nutrient timing. And once you get those put together, you have a solid foundation. And once you have that solid foundation, then you put together meal prepping, which is simply you preparing your meals um, so you're not ever... Yeah, sure, I'll invite you again. All right. Well, it says that I already invite you, Simone. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. It gives me the Simon option. Yeah, check it out, Simone. See if uh, if it's kind of somewhere lingering there. Uh, hold on. All right. Um, so once we put together the... Hey, it works. We did it. Hey. Yeah, so I was just... I was just finishing up telling everybody that once we put meal prepping together into your nutrition, it really puts all the building blocks together and, and makes it a little bit easier. Absolutely. Yeah, you're talking about macronutrients and yep. calories are important as well. So snacking has such a bad rap. 
don't you think? I mean, most of our clients, when I talk to them, they're like, oh, I had a snack today, and it's usually a muffin or a donut, something that we know is definitely not going to help when it comes to fat loss. Yep. And it's not going to help in terms of balancing your blood sugar levels. It's going to make you feel pretty crappy during your day when you turn to those types of snacks. And I am a huge fan of snacking, but it has to be quality snacks. You have to think about the type of ingredients that you're putting in there, the type of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, just like you said, balancing those macros. And that's actually going to help you stay satiated between meals. It's going to balance those blood sugar levels and really help with fat loss. So in my program, I'm a huge fan. Everybody has to snack throughout the program. There's no starving. There's no skipping meals. Snacking is actually a really big part of the program, and it will only help you when it comes to fat loss. So I wanted to share my favorite snacks with you, and they've kind of evolved a little bit because I talk about snacking all the time, and I think my clients are a little bit bored of the snacks that I'm always talking about. So I have been thinking about some new snacks, especially for your audience. So... But I do have a favorite, and it's one that I talk about every single time. And I'm wondering, Scott, if you eat this. Hummus. You do? I do. It's I love awesome. It. Yeah. So good for you. I love hummus because it is a quality protein, quality fat, and then I always pair it with vegetables. So here's the thing. Most of us, we snack throughout the week kind of mindlessly, right? We're just grabbing things as we go because – Generally, we're starving and we're not eating regularly, so we just, we're just grabbing that easy muffin, right? What I love about hummus and veggies is Sunday night, I am prepping for the entire week. So I have just bags and bags like this in my fridge, and I'm going to be teaching you all of this in our program, Scott, when you get started. But um, you can go... You, you can add so much variety when it comes to your vegetables. You can do peppers, zucchini, um, what else is there can you think of? Um, I've got broccoli, carrots, cucumber. So really, you can get a ton of variety. What's that? You say bell peppers already? Bell peppers. Love yeah. bell peppers and hummus. There's pretty much every vegetable, go, uh, cauliflower. Um, every vegetable goes really, really well with hummus. And I love these packs. Do you have these in California? Um, I think so. I don't, we do have the packs. We get our, do, you guys yeah. have Trader, do you guys have Trader Joe's up? We don't have Trader Joe's. I'm so jealous that you have yeah. Trader Joe's, but I'm sure it's a Trader Joe um, uh, item for sure. And what I like about this one, it works out to be about four tablespoons of hummus, which is good for someone my size, uh, most women. But for you, Scott, you would come in for about two of these. So, and, and in our program, we are going to be teaching you about calories. So making sure because, you know, my size snack is going to be different to your size snack, right? Cool. Well, let's do something really quick. Let's, let's okay. backtrack real quick. Um, we want to talk really quick. So Simone, if you guys were watching, was on last week and we hit the nail on three tips for fat loss. And so Simone mentioned earlier that she has a program coming up. So Let's do a little, go a little excerpt really quick. You know, give us like uh, your elevator pitch, um, <laughs> what it is, right? And then let's, let's, get, let's get right back into what we were just talking about. Okay. Um, well, for those of you just tuning in, first of all, thank you so much, Scott, for having me again. I love doing our lives together. How many, yeah. like, how many years of experience do you have as a trainer? How yeah, many? over 12. 12. 12. Okay. So yeah. like, I love collaborating with other trainers because when you put all of our years of experience together, I just feel like it's just extra experience and expertise and, and ideas of how we can help our clients. So, um, yeah, like you said, I've been doing this for 20 years and you know, I was a trainer for 20 years and I always felt this need to dive in to nutrition. I felt so limited in the gym with my clients because of course like fitness is going to make you healthy, it's going to make you fit, it's going to energize you, give you that sanity, but um, in terms of a major results, it really comes down to what you put in your body. And so this is why I'm so passionate about my program, Feel for Fat Loss. Um, we're down to the last few spots uh, for the next round, April 16th. I run them on a, a monthly basis. And um, it's all about learning what to eat, when to eat, and how to eat it. Getting super organized with your food so that you're making quality decisions, um, which lead to amazing results. 
So the next round, what we do is we spend an entire week in prep week getting you really set up. We start with a macro calculator, which is amazing. This is how we personalize the course. We figure out exactly how many calories you should be having, because that's different for me, um, where those calories should be coming from. So carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, your macronutrients, and exactly how many grams per day you should be having. So the education piece is so important. And then for four weeks, we dive into nutrition in a big way. Um, so again, just learning about food, learning what to put in your body at what times. And uh, the re results have been fantastic. So I'm really excited to do this next round and to have you in this next round. We actually have about 10 guys, which is new oh, for me. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to be leading the pack with all the men. Well, that so was what exciting. I wanted to just like kind of put yeah. on like one big thing was one, I'm super pumped and signed up. And two, that's why I wanted to just kind of like share with you or share you with the people that that follow me um because i think it's cool you know like people want to know what other fitness professionals are doing and i'm following another fitness professional and letting somebody else be my boss you know and, <laughs> you know well and i have a coach i actually have several coaches and you know it's so it's so awesome to have someone else keep you accountable and make sure that you're you're checking in and making those great decisions every single day so i'm gonna be on you yeah <laughs> you know what i was telling somebody just yesterday and i realized i go into a little bit of a rebellion when when i do stuff like this and so oh. that, right like but I'm just, I'm acknowledging it, right? <laughs> um, but, oh, no. I, but, I, but I noticed that, that like, oh man, like uh, I can't have this or not like I can't have it. Like I'm choosing not to have this right now. Um, so I'm excited about the accountability part. I've never had a nutrition coach. You Ooh. know, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've done programs before, but not to the point where we're going to have the daily interaction, you know, and the yes. daily log where I send you, you know, like, that's a big deal. You know, that's it's a big a deal. Really big deal. And and what the biggest thing that I want to give my clients is building solid habits. And the best way to do that is to check in with me every single day and you get to the point where you have built the solid habit, you understand why you're eating the way that you're eating and after those 4 weeks, you feel like you can absolutely do this on your own. And you want to, and it's natural at that point, right? So yeah. it's pretty amazing what daily accountability can do. Yes. So you're going to rebel? Yeah. I... No, 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 no. No, no. I won't rebel. Okay. There's, this, this, there's this inner thing of me that goes like, no, like you can't, like you, you're changing something. You can't just like be free or whatever. Um, but it's just, that, I, don't. I think that's, I think that's absolutely natural, but right? here, but here's the thing. Once you start learning about why you're doing this and like why we're eating at certain times and why we're eating this food over that food, you're like, that makes a lot of sense. And it makes you naturally want to do it. So yeah, I don't think you're, I don't think you're going to rebel, but <laughs> oh, I won't be, I won't be like bad rebel. It's just that inner thing of like somebody like you know, you're changing something. So there's that, that instant rebellion, yes. but, but, but it's really good. So, so let's go on snacking, right? Because okay, yes. one, one thing I told you last week is that I'm doing more of an intermittent fasting, right? So yeah. that's going to be changed a little bit in this, in this program where I will be snacking more often. And I, I would like to know, you know, if just for me, cause what, what are my, what are those secrets of grabbing something knowing yeah. what it is kind of thing so anyway i'll let you take yeah. over that but just but snacks are like the okay thing i want to talk about so if you're just tuning in my first one was hummus and veggies love quality snack pre-prepped it's in my fridge you just grab and go um yesterday i posted this chia seed pudding so if you didn't catch the recipe it's on my um facebook page and does this look good? I don't know. Like, it does look good? Okay. Yeah, it, does. <laughs> it tastes incredible. And I've been playing around with a few ingredients to make this really fun. So I'm a huge fan of chia seeds, by the way. Chia seeds are a superfood. They come in high in protein as well as high in good fat. And we learn about good fat versus bad fat in the program. Um, this pudding has chia seeds, almond milk, protein powder, 
oats and matcha. So matcha is another superfood, green tea. Um, green tea has been shown to aid in fat loss. So it's all about just getting these superfoods and quality ingredients in your snacks as well that are going to give you that extra edge when it comes to fat loss. So I love this one because, look at this. So I'm going to take this out. I've got it in a jar. You'll see it in the program, Scott. You're going to have to invest in jars. Do you have some? It has a lot of jars. Perfect. So. Because they're, they're super easy. You can put, again, everything in your jars Sunday for the entire week, and then it's grab and go. And this is like, right? Can't spell. <laughs> so you just grab it, go, take it with a spoon, and you've got an awesome snack. Okay, so that's one pudding. I wanted to come up with a quality snack for my clients who have a sweet tooth because generally 2 p.m 3 p.m a lot of my clients experience that lull in their day where they just want something sweet their body's like come on I need some sugar and mm -hmm. especially if we've been kind of addicted to sugar and having it regularly it's hard yeah. in the beginning to get off of that sugar so here's a non-sugar treat that tastes like sugar and that is protein chocolate so chocolate protein powder and yogurt so all I oh, did, yeah. yeah, this is incredible. It tastes like ice cream. So I just took some protein powder. I love these little packs because you can just take them on the go. And, uh, and then some yogurt. So if you're um, uh, dairy intolerant, there's tons of yogurts, uh, yogurts out there that you can turn to. But there you've got an awesome sweet tooth type of treat that's again so easy so you can pre-prep it or just take it with you on the go and I like to have this one at that like 2 p.m 3 p.m 4 p.m lull because most of us I think if we look at our downfalls in our day it's usually around dinner time right we're tired we're getting home we haven't had anything a lot of us since lunchtime or we had a muffin which basically just spikes your blood sugar levels and makes you more hungry so if you have this quality snack about an hour or two before dinner it's just going to balance your blood sugar levels get you to a point where you can get through those couple hours without turning to crackers and cheese and chips and those other things just to get something in your system right so I love that one and then I have oh um, actually no that's what I had for my my snacks I do like it in terms of um, one just off the top of my head easy apple and some nuts so those are easy I wherever I go I've got a container of nuts with me and then I'm always posting about an apple a day keeps the doctor away there's actually a lot of truth to that apples are this incredible incredible food that contains good fiber for you. It's going to aid in fat loss um, and then a ton of other amazing nutrients for you. But I wanted to take a second, Scott, if it's okay with you, to talk about bad snacks. Okay, things like you should absolutely stay away from. So I've yeah. talked about muffins, donuts. Those are kind of the obvious ones. And in um, the program, you're going to receive a no-no list. And it's basically a full list of all the things that you can't have for four weeks. At first glance, you might be like, what? I can't have these foods. But you have to trust me. Getting these foods out of your diet for only four weeks is all I want you to focus on. Um, and for any of you guys watching um, and you want to do this on your own, make sure you take all sugar out of the equation for four weeks. Why? Because this is going to rid the body of sugar, rid the body of cravings. Sugar is one of those things, the more you have it, the more you want it, um, and it's not going to serve you. So we wanna create this perfect environment for fat loss to happen, and sugar is that number one ingredient we have to take out of the equation for four weeks. So all I ask for is a commitment of four weeks, but I wanted to show you an example of something that you want to make sure you take out of your diet. And, and I hate to like throw any like, you know, name brands under the bus because, you know, that's not what I'm about. But here's an example of a protein bar. In fact, I'm not a fan of any protein bars. There's some that don't have any sugar in them, but this is just like, if you look at the ingredients, Scott, the first one is sweetener. And it doesn't even tell you what kind of sweetener. That's already like a sign. It's, you know, it's, it's something artificial, unnatural. Anytime you put something artificial, unnatural in your body, it's just going to wreak havoc with your digestive system. Um, and then you go on to read the other ingredients and there's stuff in here I can't pronounce. If you can't pronounce it, put it down and walk away. <laughs> it's not going to serve you when it comes to fat loss. So 
I know protein bars are easy and I know a lot of us think snacking, okay, le- you know, let's grab uh, protein bars. It's healthy, right? A lot of them, they contain a ton of sugar in them. I wanted to show you one other quick example. This um, is, at first glance, it looks awesome. So if you read the ingredients, it's a granola, by the way. Um, and it's deemed, it's kind of in the health food area of, so I'm always looking, you know, through the health food area, where are some, some new foods on the market? This one, if you look at the first ingredients, it's like organic unsweetened coconut, organic cashews, organic pumpkin seeds, all the things that I love. But then as you go, you get organic honey and organic maple syrup. Unfortunately, maple syrup and honey, your body treats it as if it's just had sugar. So it's going to spike your blood sugar levels. It's not going to serve you for the first four weeks. Now, this is something you could add in later because there's a ton of other great ingredients in here. And actually, that makes for a really great snack because you've got your granola. You can have it with some yogurt. Awesome. Um, On the go. Fantastic. You could have it with some uh, almond milk as well. But just watch out for those sneaky little ingredients out there like maple syrup and honey. Unfortunately, your body recognizes it just like sugar. So get that out of your diet for four weeks. Okay. Yeah. How about how about coffee? Is coffee out of my diet for four weeks? No, you know, (laughs) I'm a massive coffee drinker. So here, got my coffee. This is how I survive. I have a four-year-old. If you told me to take coffee out of my diet, I I would just not sign up. (laughs) But here's the thing about coffee is I do ask you to minimize it. We are going to be doing a one, two, or three-day cleanse. So you get to decide how long you want to do that cleanse for. And I do recommend that you take coffee out of the equation for that cleanse if you can. Um, Because this is just like the cleanse is incredible. Most of our clients see five pounds weight loss just from doing that cleanse. And this is, yeah, so it's, it's a great way to set the stage for clean eating that we're going to be doing after those one, two, or three days. But I do tell everyone in the program, if you are a coffee drinker, one cup is okay. And um, take all sugar out of the equation. So a lot of us, we're having lattes or mochas or uh, we're putting a sweetener in there. If you do need something sweet in your coffee, stevia is a plant um, sweetener. It's completely natural. You can put that in your coffee, but take all other sweeteners out of the equation. Um, what about, you know, what about butter in your coffee? Have you, have you ever had bullet, Oh, bulletproof? yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know what? I love Bulletproof coffee. I think it's great. But we are going to be learning about macronutrients. We are going to be learning about calories. Here's the thing about butter is one tablespoon is 120 calories. So you just have to watch for these things, right? If you do that, you know, a few times throughout the day, your calories are just going to go through the roof, okay. right? Um, I'm not about calorie deficits. This is not a diet. Most diets out there are about reducing the amount of calories that you have to a point where you're essentially starving yourself. Mm -hmm. You may lose a little bit of weight in that diet, but as soon as you stop because you cannot sustain it, you are going to gain that weight back plus more. So this program is not about um, a calorie deficit. It's about finding the right calories for you that you can sustain long term. So this is really about a menu plan that is sustainable long-term and not decreasing the amount of calories. Honest with you, Simone, like that is what attracted me to that program because every other program is the same, caloric deficit, you know, drop your calories, lose weight. And I liked the part where it was focused on fat loss and not just weight loss because, you know, if you, you know, you know that, you know, this thing, we can live by the scale, right? But yeah. what happens when, when people stop dropping weight on the scale? They start thinking that yeah. they're, they're not getting anywhere, which isn't really the case. So, Absolutely. And I, I have a, a theory on the scale. If you have fat to lose, the scale is great, especially in the beginning, because it's going to be a compass for you, right? It's going to show you some great wins. A lot of our clients lose five pounds in the first week. That's an amazing win. And it just it fuels you, right? It makes you just want some more results, breed more results. But over time, that's going to be really limited, um, especially if you're working out. So that's why I always tell our clients to um, do measurements, photos, and use the scale. And not to have any emotion when you get on the scale. Can you do that, Scott? Like, no emotion. 
I will now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, you yeah. listen to what I say. Yeah. Do what I yeah. say. I like yeah. this. Right. <laughs> um, and and I'm like I know if you're if you're a woman right now and you're watching and you just heard me say have no emotion when you get on the scale you're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> But you really have to take it with a grain of salt, especially week to week. Over time, if you have weight to lose, you will see the scale come down. But there are going to be daily fluctuations, right? Depending on sugar, salt, um, going to the bathroom. It's gross, but it's true, um, right? So women, time of the month. There's so many fluctuations daily. So weigh yourself once a week only, not daily. Only once a week. Have no emotion. First thing in the morning, no clothes, no food, and you will see the scale come down over time if you have weight to lose. I don't know if I told you this, but did I tell you about my 20? I think I told you about my 28-day program, right? My online. No. 20, yeah, oh, so yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you told me a little bit. I want to hear yep. more. Tell me more. Yeah, this is so, the, free, the free program. Yep, yep. It's a 20-day program. It's, it's something just that I'll do live. I'll do it daily, live. Um, Monday through Sunday and you know, people can watch it live and do it live and train with me live. Side note, I've never, well, I just got done doing 28 days, but I'd never done that before where I, I worked out <laughs> in, anyway, that's funny, but anyway, so, <laughs> that's new for me, but you know what? I, I can't remember if I told you this, but I'm really encouraging my group to jump on board in this program that you're putting on for two reasons is one, I want to jump in, with them and train with them. So kind of like side by side, mm -hmm. um, but also have a resource. So my first 28 day program, I didn't talk about nutrition. I didn't add nutrition into it. And obviously the program's free on my end, but if they want to kind of invest in themselves, you know, and do the nutrition aspect, they will get huge results. So anyways, I was just kind of putting it together and thinking, I need to recommend this. I'm doing I it. Love it. Why wouldn't they want to do it? Um, yeah, I'm going to follow this. So this is starting yeah. this coming Monday. Yeah, we'll start on this Monday. Yeah, so it. I'll I'll, uh, I'll send you more details on it. Yeah, um, and I'll, I'll share that with everybody. And I love everything that you're about, Scott. I love your energy. Oh, and I love you. how you really care about your clients and you mm -hmm. want them to see amazing results. And I want the same thing. So putting our heads together, it's only, right? it's only right? going to be a good thing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, cool. So what, how about this? Let's, let's go with one more snack or, or unless, uh, unless those, those are your, your, your snack hacks right there. I do um, have one more snack. I, I don't have a visual of it, but one more snack that, okay. you know, and I talk about this every single video, but I feel like I need to say it one more time. Yeah. Smoothies. Okay. You've been posting a lot about smoothies. I am such a fan of smoothies, Scott, because they are a liquid snack. Most of us are hydrated. We need hydration. So smoothies, protein smoothies, they have to have quality ingredients. There's a lot of smoothies, unfortunately, out there that you can buy um, that, you know, like an Orange Julius, there's, it's just basic, like, juice. You want to stay away from that. You want to make sure that you are getting quality ingredients in your smoothies. I'm a huge fan of green smoothies because there's things like kale, spinach. These are anti-inflammatory type of um, vegetables. Kale is a cruciferous vegetable, which is incredible for fat loss. So, you know, it's really about learning different types of foods that you can put into your smoothies. Great for kids, by the way. This is how I hide all of these superfoods in um, Shelby's diet, right? Because if oh. I gave her, if I gave her a salad, there's no way my four-year-old would eat a salad, right? But I can put a ton of kale, a ton of spinach in a smoothie and she loves it, right? And then I mask it with some fruit in there for her as well, which is great for kids. That's so genius. yeah, so great for kids. That's one of like my, my family tips out there is get your kids on quality smoothies, put a quality protein powder in there. Um, you also want some quality fat if the protein powder doesn't have that. But there you've got a perfectly balanced macro friendly snack and it's easy on the go. You can pack it in your jar as well. Right. Um, but uh, the be I would say that's the best snack that you can have. And I have a smoothie every single day. Like in the morning or when do you have yours? 
Uh, typically morning. So I'll have my breakfast usually around 7, 8 a.m. And then my snack is around 10. So two hours later, two and a half hours later, I'm having my snack. And that's just, you're, you're going to start to notice it, especially Scott, like, because you've been doing intermittent fasting, which I feel like there's definitely a place for it. But my program runs a little bit differently, just to maximize fat loss, right? Um, but you're going to feel this lull at around 10 a.m., 10, 30 a.m., and that is when you, your body is basically saying to me, my blood sugar levels are dropping, help me get them back up. And that's when you have that quality snack in there, like a smoothie and you're, you're going to feel it immediately. You're going to feel like this energy boost and your brain is going to be functioning clearer. You're going to have more energy body wise naturally. So, so snacking is just one of those really important things. Unfortunately, it's got such a bad rap, but we have to change that because quality okay. snacks is key to fat loss well the last part you had said something and i think you mentioned that this this series you're including family yeah in your prepping, right so so yeah hit on that because that's huge because like i think i told you like katie's doing she has her own meal planning right now and she feels like she's making two different things now you know and totally. so so. And this is why, like, I'm, I'm always checking in with my clients. I, I send them um, feedback forms, like, they're probably really annoyed with me because I'm always like, give me feedback. I want to make sure that I'm giving you a quality program and touching on everything that you need. Now, the biggest thing that I keep hearing about is I'm, you know, I'm a mom, I'm on board, I've got my eating down now to a science. It's awesome. But how do I get my husband on board? How do I get my kids on board? So this next round, we are going to be supplying tips on exactly how to do that. So things like the smoothies, things like um, making it fun for your kids. So, right, we want to get them off the fish crackers. We want to get them off the, the easy muffins, right? And giving them quality food. These are growing human beings. So we need to be making sure that they're getting quality quality nutrients in their diet. And I have amazing tips. My daughter eats broccoli. There was, if you knew what a picky eater she was, Scott, when she was like six months until about three, I, I thought like I was doomed. Like I am failing as a parent right now, but now she eats broccoli. She eats, she eats it all, all vegetables, all fruit. She prefers it, but I have tips on how to yeah. do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh man, I'm super excited. Yeah. Dude, thanks, thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you Thank taking the time. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so honored and I'm so excited to collaborate with you. And I can't wait to see how you do in this program. I cannot wait because I know Scott, you said that you're going to do weekly photos of, you know, how your body is transforming and I cannot wait to see those. So excited to have you. Cool is I am. So I, I don't know. I'm turning 40 this year and <laughs> I, I will hit 40 like six days before the challenge ends. So, Oh, we need to celebrate. This yeah. <laughs> awesome. This so, is awesome. So it, it, it'll be kind of like a cool thing moving in. I've embraced, I've been embracing this like crazy and like, it just hit me like, Oh, this is going to be going into 40. So, why not? I love it. I love it. So. Well, this is going to be ex extra sexy at 40. Extra yeah. sexy at 40. <laughs> so, hey, before we take off, like, tell everybody where, we can, where they can find you. And then um, go ahead, you know, post the link in the group or in the, in the, in the thread. I will. Um, yeah. So, you know, we, we're down to the last few spots available for April 16th. And then I'm taking um, a wait list for the next round. And uh, just check out fuelforfatloss.com. I'll post it in the link. And Scott, I'm excited about your free program on Monday. I'm going to log in and okay. do that with you. I can't wait. So, so post that as well, because I'd love to share that with my group. I will totally do that. I will totally do that. Yay. Thank you. Right. Happy, happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday, Scott. I hope you and your family have a wonderful weekend. Ah, you too. Have a great Thank weekend. You. And I'll, we'll talk soon. We will. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. See Bye. you soon. Bye. All right, everybody. That was Simone Lavelle. I love having her on the show. She's just got one great energy. And then two, she's just got a lot of good stuff to put out there. So, um, Go check her out. Just check her profile out. See the type of material that she's putting out, just the resources that she's putting out. She has also a nutrition, a nutritional free guide also. So please check that out because 
Um, the only reason I bring the people on this show is because I highly, highly respect them and I deeply follow them. So um, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Make it good. And if you're thinking, just thinking about jumping into my 28-day program, do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Um, I put a link in the post. And then if you want to kind of up the game and you want to really dial down your nutrition just because that might be the missing link in your, you know, achieving your goals, I would say and, and join me with uh, Simone's program. And uh, it'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of good and cool going side by side with each other. We'd be in the same group. She has a private group. I don't think she mentioned that earlier. There's a private group that just we're in. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that personally. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Go impact somebody's life and uh, just make a difference. All right, everybody. Have a great Friday.